Hello everyone, it's Julie Hedges and welcome to the Tarot Journey. I'm out here at one of my favorite sit spots right here on the water. I am back from vacation, so back to regularly scheduled programming and activities and all of the fun things of life and um, getting geared up for a brand new week after spending some time on the beach and um, in the salt and the sand and um, no shoes, no shirt, no problems, right? Um, I have a little visitor here on top of my camera, a little, um, I guess it's a little sweat bee just kind of hanging out. Uh, the birds are flying around back behind me. I've had a little ant here on my table and um, it's a, a nice afternoon and a lot of people out walking and enjoying uh, the day. It's very, very temperate here. It's only probably in the low 80s and nice, nice breeze. So I hope that um, the wind noise doesn't come through too loudly on the microphone. And some kids over there enjoying the splash pad. They are, they are having a ball. I'm coming today uh, to share with you sacred mantra because it's on my heart today. Um, in my vacation, I've had a renewed sense of purpose and direction and, and motivation after feeling like uh, drifting at sea. Sorry for the pun. Um, just drifting along, I, I have some, some gumption now and I'm going to put some feet to the, the ideas that... Um, I just kind of let wash over me as I'm uh, jumping around in in the ocean and, and letting the waves kind of take me where they will, I uh, letting the ideas come. And one of the things that um, Spirit wanted me to do was to definitely focus more on mantra and um, sharing sharing sacred mantras. And so here, it's a nice temperate day. I'm out here at the park, right in front of one of my uh, favorite water places locally, and to share a mantra that everyone knows. Um, Om Mane Padme Hum. And it's said that this is the mantra of Kuan Yin, the mantra of compassion. And we know that Kuan Yin is one of those who decided to stay in the, the Earth's field. I guess that's the best way to put it. Instead of going on to Nirvana, uh, Kuan Yin decided to stay within the Earth's field, the Earth's auric field, and the Earth's spirit, so that all beings can reach their enlightened state, meaning their realization of who they are. And this is the mantra that is so closely associated with Guan Yin, the mantra of compassion. And I was doing a little bit of reading about it, um, and I didn't know this, this part, but a mani, M-A-N-I, mani, is a wheel. So you know those Tibetan prayer wheels. It looks like a stick in it and it kind of um, goes around and around and it, and it makes a noise. It's called a mani. And so the Om Mani Padme Hum kind of captures all of the mantras that ever were and ever will be in this mantra of compassion. But each of the individual syllables means something. And it is said, it is written, that this particular mantra is the one mantra among many of them, but this is the one that can really kind of cut through suffering and um, get the heart opened to realization of the fullest divine self. And so each of the syllables means something om. Om, of course, is the vibration of the universe. So it's, it's the primordial vibration 
on which everything, everything is created out of that. Ma, the syllable ma, establishes ethics or boundaries, what I will say. The syllable ni, ni, establishes patience. So understanding that things take time to unfold. So that is having compassion for the process and the patience that it takes for something to unfold. Pod means a perseverance, the willingness, not only to have patience, um, to wait with a grateful heart, but also to, to be active and to, to set forth the steps that are needed to um, find a way to the next step and the next motivation and the next idea and the next realization. Me or me is a concentration. So again, with boundaries and patience and um, perseverance, you have a concentration needing to stay focused, needing to stay focused. You can't give up your dream in the middle of it, right? If a bridge builder decided to um, not concentrate on that, then the bridge would be half built and, and nobody could get across the river. <laughs> and whom, the last syllable whom, is wisdom. Wisdom, particularly the wisdom of the heart. So all of that is the mantra of compassion and the translation into English is a little, is very difficult when you're getting into the Sanskrit words because each word itself can be like a whole paragraph in English, but um, it's most commonly translated as the jewel of the lotus flower. And many people associate the story of the lotus and the attributes of the lotus as the human condition. The lotus flower begins its life and spends a lot of its life in the murky, muddy, cloudy depths of blech, at the bottom of the pond. But then it gets this burst of energy and it just powers up and, and explodes out of the water into this array, these beautiful flowers. And then at nighttime, it closes itself back up and goes back down because it needs to be protected. And it gets those nutrients from the muck and the mire and the ugh. And then it bursts up into the open and enjoy the scent and enjoy the flower. So it's definitely very similar to the human condition where we, we sometimes go from hurt to hurt and suffering to suffering and then we have brief periods of enlightenment or happiness and we, and we open ourselves up to love. Thank you for joining me today for, um, for Sacred Mantra Sunday. I'm going to share the Om Mane Padme Hum with you. So just center in your heart and think of a lotus flower. Maybe feel a lotus flower within your heart center as I'm intoning this mantra. And may you feel yourself blooming out of whatever muck and mire you might be going through because I think we all are. I know I have been. My personal story is definitely in the muck and the mire. And I'm, I'm just feeling like I can burst out and sing my song today for a little bit. So in your heart. Om Mane Padme Om Mane Padme Om <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you for joining me today for Sacred Mantra Sunday. And as always, may the peace that surpasses all human understanding be with you today and every day. Om Shanti.